Hello everyone, this is Richard, and uh, I want to uh, upload another one today uh, uh, to talk about, uh, I'm going to be real fast about the theory of uh, an idea that I've had that explains um, how peace and love, it, how peace and love is manifested in, in heaven, and I think that I pretty much hit the nail on the head, and I think that uh, a lot of people may have not um, found the words to explain how it really is, and I think that the best way is that it is something that matters but at the same time it does not what I mean to say is that in order for true bliss and for true love to exist is for for someone to exist but at the same time uh, doesn't exist that's the only way that there can truly be a balance or a cemetery where a person can truly um, exist in a state of um, comfort and um, safety um, without have, having to have too much cognitive, psychological, emotional dwelling on something, which is this living realm. We're living in, the, in, 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 a, in, in, in a realm where everything is focused like a, like a light beam and everything is just straight down the middle one it, it's like basically one dimensional you know it's like you, we, we just see things as they are <clears throat> and um that creates a lot of um conflictions and uh it doesn't allow one person to discover themselves and whatnot and the the, the thing is though it's kind of like like a dream it's like um when you're in a dream um when you're looking at things um uh, the best way to describe it is that is that um, when when you're in a dream, you're, you're looking at things that are that are external in your dream. Everything that you look at, um, the reason why dreams are so comfortable a lot of times and they're so blissful, is because you are in a state where you are you have let go of all of your ambitions and judgment, and you are just in suspension. You are you're you're you are not in a state of um of you are in a you're not you're not in a state of over analyzing over analyzing over judging you're 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 suspended for a moment in a in, in, in a proper balance where where if a person wanted to send you a message and a spirit wanted to send you a message you're going to get it and you're going to believe it you're you're in a state where you have just let go of all of your egos you have you're in a state where you let go of all of your internal woes and in selfishness and for a moment when you're dreaming for those few hours when you're dreaming that is basically heaven basically you know um you have let go of of all the senses of your body pain you 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 no longer have leg pain or stomach pain or nothing like that basically that's what heaven is um and when you're um you because when when you're in a state when you're in a dream state you're in a state where you are you um you do you're in a state where you're ready to just observe and just feel so you're neither in a position where you're where you're um where you where you care and you do not care you you're you you're there but you don't care but at the same time you you're willing you're willing to accept any information and have it matter to you you're in a place in emotional state within your mind and your psyche in a proper balance when you're asleep which is the same as being in heaven where you're in a position where you're just a clean slate for for a brief moment in those eight hours you're asleep you just let go of everything and you're just absorbed you're, you're ready to absorb and receive anything give it to me what do you want to say you know take me somewhere you know I, yeah, I'm ready to go you know I'm ready to go for that brief moment you are not exactly you when you're alive you're in a you're in a position where you're ready to just be opened that is when you're experiencing the true sense of being a spirit that has left the body and going to heaven. Or basically a spirit that has left your body that has died. That when, when you're in that state, when you're in your dreams and you're in that, that state where you're, you have let go of all, of all of your problems and all of your judgments and precognitive overanalyzing of things and trying to predict and being um, analytical and all that, um, you're in a state where you are ready to just observe, look, listen, feel, and just let 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 
any form of energy or entity take you away into something and teach you something. That basically is being a spirit. That's what it is. When when you're in heaven, the only way that you can um that there can be true bliss, true bliss and true um serenity and true safety and true love is for that is for that dream state to have a continuation after the body has shut down you know when you're asleep you experience slices of that briefly for certain dreams not all dreams but a lot of dreams you do you enjoy them you're flying around you experience gravity and dreams you're falling off the building and you fly or whatever but when you die you are then you 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 are then you go into a state you close your eyes you're dead your body is shut down now you are in a state where you're just permanently in default mode where you have let go of everything and you're in a permanent state of a dream state but you are as in in spirit form experiencing that um permanently and in default mode that that's your original mode is the mode of of observing and collecting information without judgment, without overanalyzing, of being neutral, neutral, and allowing yourself to be taken away by any form of energy that wants to take you and any entity that wants to, to teach you something and allow the light to suck you up. You know, you, you get that when when you're uh, in a dream state, but when you die, but, but basically when you, you know um, when you when you're asleep, you're basically you're, you're getting tastes of death. And when you die, you get the full, you know, you get the full um, entree. You get the full entree, man. You, you got it. You got it all. And the, and and um, that's what being a spirit is. So when you dream and you're loving it, you're feeling good. You're not judging. You're letting the dream take you on adventure. That's what being a spirit is. When you die, you get the full entree. You're getting taste in your dream. But the only way that spirit, uh, that God, um, that the heaven can really be heaven, is for that. That, that dream state to then continue to perpetuate and continue forever to continue because it cannot because um it, it cannot retain the physical problems of the earth it cannot retain you know um the the normalities of wind and social issues and psychological it has to maintain this is it the reason why earth is i mean uh heaven is what it is and the reason why there's bliss and love in heaven is because it it's something but nothing all at the same time it matters but then it doesn't so for something to matter it has to not matter for it to matter so it has to be both matter it has to matter and not matter in order for it to really matter it has to be in in, in a balance of something that's nothing something that's something and something that's nothing that makes it something and that makes it something it has to be something that's black and white comes together it has to be something that's a perfect balance of all it's uh, it's a perfect balance and in all facets of the human psyche and, and um, the, the living and the, the living realm and the spiritual realm they're both connected um, whatever uh, 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 whatever the people um, do here influences and perpetuates the positive energy up there so whether it's something negative or positive um it's gonna it, it's kind of like uh like i i think that's kind of like the earth is tentacles you know like the spirits are tentacles and whatever the living people feel here they send that energy up to their higher self and they're connected to to this to this um to this realm to this uh heaven realm and they send that in information to joys and and the collective crowds cheering the whole heaven feels the crowd cheering and everyone feels it and they're engaged and they, they get taken away by the cheers you know they get taken away by a person that has died and they feel it it's almost like a like like a like sustenance spiritual substance you know something for them it entertains them and it perpetuates them to live and to gain information so it's like a big old tentacles connected up to heaven and I want to also say that um, in order for there to really be bliss and, and, and love in heaven, there has to be a proper balance of all the facets of human emotions. The balance of hate and anger, like I spoke about in my er earlier videos, they all need to exist. You know, they're all negative, but they all need to be there in order for there to be true knowledge of knowing that 
um, that it, it, it all becomes one fused um, fused color. All the facets of the colors of human emotions become fused into one um, one um, mixed color of all facets of emotions. They all become one thing. And in, in order for the spirits, for heaven to truly be blissful and to be happy and to be uh, um, balanced, is for all those things to be acknowledged and to be accepted. Not to ignore them but to em embrace them and balance all of those things so that everyone that experiences it brings it up there and they are they are, um the spirits are not just nice they're not just um entertaining or happy or talkative they're not angry or envious they're they're not one human emotion they are all emotions they are all the facets and that's what creates the balance and the textures and the complexity of being alive and the complexity of the universe and the complexity of heaven you need that complexity of different depths ugliness and happiness beauty and ugly and um hate and anger and jealousy all mixed in it creates a depth and texture to that life of the spiritual world it creates a depth that's very interesting and engaging you know and that's what creates that balance and um and, and, and it's one, one thing I want to talk about too is that's kind of like this like I was just thinking too that uh, you know um, imagine that you know you have a dream where you're just there you're in a place where you're looking at you, 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 it's, it, it looks like Woodstock you know and you see these uh, like this 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 um this kind of like this um, this big old field where there's like these little glowing bunnies around and the thing is though is that um, when you're looking when you first enter the dream, it looks like there's a big crowd. But then when you look closer, the crowd, there's gaps between, there's spaces between these bunnies. You know, so it's not exactly a big crowd of bunnies, but at the same time, it isn't small either. That's that's what I'm trying to get at, is that when you're looking at something, it is it is what you think it is, but at the same time, it is not. And that balance of is and not is what makes something uh, what what makes something something it makes it work it's some it because that's what creates a balance when you have something that is but is not so that so that so that there 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 will not so that there will not be no so that um there will not be no conflictions or um or any um internal conflicts of self internal conflicts of self by having a lot of something but also very little of it it creates a balance and psychological balance of self a proper balance of the psyche of self without having any conflictions of the ego or or of um, the, per the personality of self by having the perception of having a lot but also have not having enough both at the same time so that so that you are not in confliction of one or the other you're in proper balance of acknowledging both that you have something and you have not enough. You acknowledge both those concepts and so those both concepts come together to create something that is enough. It is a lot and it isn't. But it's something that creates a proper balance that creates peace and balance within yourself. That right there is how heaven works. It needs to be something but both nothing. You know, you have a lot of something, but at the same time, you don't feel like you have enough. But when you put those two concepts together in the spirit realm or the living, you do not have an issue in which you can be upset about. Because you have a lot, but at the same time, you don't. So you're humble that you don't have a lot, but you're still proud that you do. So you both do and you do and you don't you do and you don't you know and that's what creates the internal peace of self and that's how heaven is that my friend that balance of nothing and something is how heaven um uh, is constructed that in, in the psyche of that's how heaven works that's how that's how it is man everyone there has that the concept of basically two things nothing and something coming together to make something 
And that's just my theory and everything. I uh, hope that was very entertaining. That was like the big thing. That's heaven right there, man. In the future, science is going to figure it out. You know, um, we're just not going to know. It's a proper balance of self. You know, proper balance of not having your ego be too blown out to have a big head, but at the same time being humble. And how do you do that? You're, you, in, 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 order, in order for there to be a balance, you need to be in a position of both being too proud, but being small and meek and humble. Proud and humble and small. Big, proud, strong, but humble and small and not having nothing. Both at the same time to where you're balanced and you're there with yourself. Acknowledging both concepts of having nothing and something. That's how heaven um, injects you with peace and love because you're complete. Because you have acknowledged both those things without even knowing that you have acknowledged them. This is Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.